changed locations just a little bit because we're talking about one of one of my favorite places to go, yeah. the Arizona Science Center. It's a popular one, so we have two very special guests. This is Tara Sonderman from the Science Center, the Arizona Science Center, and we have Edward M uh, Mayer here. Meyer. Meyer here. Sorry about that. With a Ripley's Believe It or Not, so a very cool <laughs> event that's happening at the Arizona Science Center. Why don't you fill us in, Tara? Yes, it's a new exhibition. It's the Science of Ripley's Believe It or Not. Mm -hmm. It opens tomorrow morning to the public, oh, which cool. we are very excited to have, and it'll be there through May the 4th. And so we have a lot of really cool stuff going on. Like, we made our yeah. own shrunken heads. That's kind of creepy. It's tough to get a close-up <laughs> yeah, shot of this. We're but, working uh, to get a uh, closer shot of this. These are apples? Yes, yeah, they're apples, so we Peeled the apples and then you start to carve out the faces and oh. stick them in lemon juice for a little bit. Oh. Which, like you would do if you don't want them to get that gross brown color yeah. on them. Yeah, oh. And so then that. you dip them in salt water for 24 hours and you let them hang for about two weeks and they oh shrivel my right up. <laughs> <laughs> that is so creepy. Is. Okay, so Ripley's, believe it or not, this is going to be a really cool exhibit. Talk it to is, me a little bit. It is definitely yeah. cool. Over 120 items. Mm -hmm. Most from the Ripley collection, some manufactured by the Science Center, and it's on a world tour. Oh. This, this is stop number three. Hmm. Uh, roughly 200,000 people have already seen it in the wow. first two places. It's been very, very popular. And, you know, every single thing in there is going to teach kids in a fun way mm -hmm. to get involved in science. Mm. That's what it's all about. You know, a little bit of trickery, exactly. a little bit of believe it or not <laughs> trickery. What do you have here, Edward? Get them excited. Well, I've got a suit for you. Oh, oh all right. Can, can, can you come on over here? Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> a little bit of like, a I didn't change. expect this. Okay. All right. Let me get my hand in here. There it is. What are you okay. going to do? Oh, so <laughs> this, is, I don't think it this is the jacket from Robert Wudlow, the tallest man who ever lived. Wow. Eight really? foot 11. And in the Science Center, We've got a robotic Robert Wudlow <laughs> who comes to life in front of you. Uh, there's a display of his actual shoes, size 37. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. And then we've got this little 37. really cool panel for little kids. They can put in their age now yeah. and their size, and it predicts how tall they're going to be. Oh, and my gosh. You're the closest we've oh seen to 8 foot 11. <laughs> and so I'm 6'1", yeah, yeah. and there's uh, the this trousers. is we'll just put oh those my up gosh. To you. Oh. Oh, no, not big enough. Keep going, keep going. There oh, you go. There's about normal height. Yeah, might need some heavy Holy there, moly. That's for sure. All right, well, let's Very put cool. the information let's, on yeah. the screen as I try and um, figure out where my hands I are know. here. The so, Arizona Tara? Science Center, it, if you haven't been there, I got to tell you, it, as a parent, just as a resident here, it is fascinating Very to go cool, to. Right? It's so difficult, Tara, to get my kids out of this place. I know. So get out there and enjoy. Go see the Ripley's Believe It or Not uh, section that kicks off tomorrow. You're watching ABC 15 Mornings.